hello today i would like to show you something really really amazing that i managed to order from the cheap china slash the aliexpress and i'm not going to pretend that this is unboxing because i've got shaking hands when i've got the delivery and i open and have to see everything by myself but this is how the the device looks like and this is a yagi uda antenna very directional antenna for the uhf band they've got also a, a vhf version that i was interested in that part of uh, commercial frequencies here is the specification so as you can see the bandwidth is quite high and we've got the 9 dbi which is really impressive and that's because they use a proper value they refer to a real antenna the isotropic the most companies are just completely lying and they put a db and you don't know over what that gain is calculated and it can be a gain against a nail or a dummy load but here we've got a reference point and what's the most important thing in this antenna is the length of this this device as you can see this is a 46 centimeter centimeters and it came in this package so if you've got a hand this is how wide it is but why it's i'm so happy about that this is how the antenna looks like and i was looking for solution like this for a very very long time to the point that i built myself something similar but it was a very fragile and i stopped using it but i just buy a normal proper antenna and where we've got the directors i might put a male male stud this is uh, very similar to the to the to the things that we've got over here but you've got a male thread and i just using the butter butter nut to tie down the reflectors the directors but it was fragile the the driving element was fixed so that was not a very good device and i finally stopped carrying it but here we've got something that i'm not sure if that was meant to be used as that type of antenna or they just make it for easier sending because it do not waste a lot of space but we are ended up in having a perfect antenna the line of sight antenna that you can put in your backpack for hiking and for any operation and you've got something that small you see this is a absolutely amazing device as you can see this is size similar let me show you something please wait a second here i've got a tripod and you can put all these elements in one bag and you've got a extremely nice set that you can very quickly deploy in your field without need of anything else and yes i'm aware that they are amateur radio projects like this when the the reflector director radiator are made of a measuring steel tape but it have a, it have a pros and it have a things to concern for example the steel tape is 
very not good in windy environment they can bend by themselves and i saw that multiple time on the military antennas and that's that's not a good thing second that you have to make it yourself and spend a lot of time on it here you can order as many as you need for your team for your group of people worker you train them on a one unit and yeah they will be able to use it something that i don't like is that in the collapse it's rattling and this is a very big concern for any well yeah you can we cannot say tactical with uh, that shiny thing that is going to uh, show your location very very easily so let's say uh, like a fox hunting antenna so yeah that's not good there will be a easy fix with a rubber hairband i believe to keep it in place and prevent from doing that in your backpack so it's not that crazy so let's take a look how to how to open it and here we've got our directors we pull it down and now we go like this and as you can see it locked in place it's not going to move anywhere there is a hole if you can see and this is a little bit rounded as you can see and we pull it like this this is like a springy thing inside like this and it locks in place not going to be moving by wind no problem and let's take a look how quickly you can deploy this to a full size antenna this is our beautiful director aluminium very lightweight for backpacking that's a very important here is our reflector exactly the same as you can see it's much longer but by having it like that it have a same size and our driver also is using exactly the same idea let me let me grab it and this is how it looks like i recommend you to watch at this build because you can replicate it at home there is nothing special about that but i'm pretty sure that the labor that you have to put in manufacturing one piece of that is higher than actually ordering one from china here is our antenna input for the driving element and as you can see this looks like a standard uhf connector quite beefy for a big cable but here is the driving element that looks like a nut for soldering so it looks like a standard connector it's going to be connected here and basically that's all oh i lost the screw butterfly screw and here is when you are attaching the other element and you are doing something like this like that and you put the butterfly nut and your antenna is ready for action so as you can see we've got really beefy full-size antenna and what is also in the package so they are designing this to be mounted on the mast but i'm going to use this with a tripod and i'm going to do a different mount 
here is a manual for the antenna so as you can see I'm pretty sure that this is not a real graph for that unit I don't expect the Chinese have a uh, such a good quality control here you've got this manual how to how to collapse it and there is nothing more we can try connect it to the to the antenna analyzer of course this is a uh, not a uh, lab equipment by no mean but we can get like a, a basic idea so this antenna should work from uh, 400 megahertz to 47 and let's set this value we should get a usable frequency so it's going to cover the amateur radio and what's the most important the industrial frequencies sorry the commercial band and the let's go to the 400 sorry i could do that not in front of the camera but let's go and it will be quite easy 407 megahertz and we've got exactly the range that it is designed to work and i'm going to try to connect the the antenna the antenna analyzer and i'm going to try to hold it like this and get a proper polarization it's not going to be perfect because i've got a lot of metal stuff around but let me go as far as I can from metal stuff and as you you cannot most likely see no you can see you can see we've got absolutely beautiful frequency response in the whole range basically on the whole frequency that it is a very broadband antenna we've got everywhere believe below 1.5 SWR this is not a lab equipment this is something just that we can use as a general look okay let me show you where it's speaking I'm sorry I'm doing that in not in front of the camera okay and I can go from the from the lowest value I'm going to increment the up going upward to 10 megahertz and here you can see the SWR the 440 is 1.6 And yeah, it's do exactly what it's supposed to do. This is how looks a, a very good antenna. And just imagine yourself that you have a fox hunting or you just hike into a hill. You take it out from your backpack. Maybe you use a tree or a camera tripod that you maybe you are carrying a camera tripod for recording a video and you mount it yourself 
and now you would like to put it back into your backpack so you just unscrew this and here is a room for improvement I can clearly see that these two things can be lost so maybe a small chain welded to this this is a room for improvement and we do like this and we cut size in half and we go like this pull lock pull lock pull lock this is how easy it is pull lock and your reflector is down this is the beefiest part which is the driving element and you're good to go you can pack it and you can hike back and no one is knowing that you've got a full-size Yagi Uda commercial antenna so I believe this is a perfect device I'm waiting 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 to try it out on the air from some hilltop and then I will make a update video but right now everything looks cool so thank you very much for watching hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye